boy, Gummy Fitter, right there on the edge of Hollow Bastion. But it, it did not matter, because now we have Slingshot and Moonell, Wario versus Diddy. Yep. And we've seen Slingshot's been doing incredibly well at these last few Xenos. I've been seeing him top eight, top five a what did lot he get, recently. Like, top I think he got yeah, yeah got second top last week. Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let this is his last week, so this is the follow-up performance. Let's see if he will continue that streak. I mean, getting second one week. It can happen, yeah. you know, to any, you know, not any, but like it can happen to players. Uh, but if you start getting consistently that sort of placement, then you make yourself a New York name. I think that's kind of on the line for Slingshot right now. One of the people standing in the way is Munel, mm -hmm. our fellow commentator who has been putting up very solid results for himself and is an absolute threat of a player. Oh, and his Wario, Wario is a character who also you don't see that often in Tri-State. You don't know what player I see here in Tri-State is B. Bean, of course. So, of course, we have something that you're not really too familiar with, and you have Wario who has walked at the ready, or just that, that will kill you off the platform of a PS2. The, so the micro spacing that was so good, it was like barely whipping moves, and Wario is too heavy without any range. Even that charged forward smash is not going to kill, and I really like. Oh, oh, that, yeah, that was. That was, that was <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fell into the banana, rolled right into the ledge of the, uh, the platform, and got us smashed for it. But either way, I'll get Wario character. You have to be really care about this. You have been having to deal with the motorcycle, as well as waft and, and uh, the chomp mechanic. We can just kind of recover a little bit of uh, percentage off of you. And yeah. these up air juggles that he's also very uh, good with. I am loving the use of bike right here. Not only is he using bike as a projectile, he's using it as a pseudo counter attack option, as well as sometimes he just puts it on the ground and it blocks banana. And now with banana in hand, I mean, oh my god, Wario with a banana is actually one of the most terrifying things. <laughs> I just realized he doesn't have full waft, but I believe he has half waft at yes, least. Yes, I think so. Uh, and half waft might kill right here if he manages to actually well, he might grab have full. a banana. Oh, no, yes, half. <laughs> now it's full. Now he is. That is yeah, a when we, when he's blinking, you gotta be scared, careful, because typically they won't pull it out at this high percentage. It's kind of a waste at that point, but when you get into those combo strings and that ends with waft, you're basically over, and there's no way! <gasps> I, it might have been worth wafting right there in order to get been. the recovery. I, I, mean, think, I, I think he thought he was going to make it, though. Yeah. Because I thought he was going to make it. Maybe if he had angled it a little bit to the left. There is some angling you can do on Warriors on B. I don't know if that would have actually made a difference, though. Oh, <laughs> he's like, oh, you think Diddy down tilt? Let me show you the, a real man's down tilt with your fingertips. <laughs> that's how, that's how real I'm man. I'm like dying over here. <laughs> now I'm gonna check on this water, but you know, I'm seeing Moonal a little bit of a, a little bit out of focus just because of like the what happened with his recovery. But yeah. you know what? Now we have Wario with Walk with Banana. Scary situation for Slingshot at the moment, who's playing a more of a safer game because he no longer has to really approach as often. But even then, you saw he does approach. That mm -hmm. side B is such a good option. Probably just going to back throw for damage. Get him off stage. That might... Oh, wow, I can't believe everyone's alive. <laughs> okay, oh, but... God, yeah, here yeah. we go. A little bit, a kind of, a little, just a little, bit, a little bit like a footsie kind of action here. We're kind of moving around one another, trying to find an opening that will satisfy one or the other. That was really smart also. You notice that... Oh, that you know, actually... slow as death. And now... This is a horror point for yes. everybody um, because one roll read, one, I think, it, I'm not sure if up air at this point would actually lead to the kill. Uh, but okay, well, neutral air is, whenever you get hit by a neutral air at this percent, oh. there it is. There it is. Look at that expression. Look at that. He's giddy. It comes out so, yes. like, frame one. Not literally frame one, but, like, <laughs> expression wise. Like, it comes out so fast. Oh my god, it just, you're not, you're, you're caught in it. You're caught, what, you can't. <laughs> look how, hold on a second, look how thick those cheeks get. Bro. <laughs> look at that. Also, look at, yeah, you know, uh, okay, when you Damn, hit the, Mario. when you hit the waft and you immediately stop looking at the camera, you already know the game is on. Or the TV, whatever they do. So we're going right back to PS2, same characters, same colors, we're going. Straight for it. And of course, Ninja having a really great start for himself, getting a lot of extra credit on the ledge against Wario. Or against yeah. Monel. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, we already saw in that last game, what is percentage to a Wario? No, you... it's true, though. He was at, like, what, 110, 120? He was, yeah, definitely in the 100 ranges. But, the, like, the thing is that if you kind of, I always feel like you have to two-stock a Wario in order to really beat them. <laughs> you have to have, like, an extra, like, like life just for that. Because Waka is such a... 
game changer so quickly. It, it's, I don't want to call it a comeback mechanic because it's really just not, but I, it's I would comfortable call, I'd be comfortable really calling it a comeback, comeback mechanic. mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's in, in that situation, yes, absolutely. If you have like an extra stock on him, nah, it's, it's just there. Mario talks too much. <laughs> he's so vocal. I, I appreciate it. Honestly, I no, he's not nearly as vocal as Diddy Kong now. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> but <laughs> Diddy Kong just makes like monkey noises. But there's that first shot going over to Slingshot. Just like the first game, you know, we had Slingshot pretty much in a very great spot most of the game. And once you have Wario in that one stop, one hit situation, and you and he has Waff going, gotta be careful. I'm sure he's way, I bet, I'm sure Slingshot is way more aware of that and way more, uh, you know, cognizant of that. Yeah, and oh, I love that shielding right with the banana is it makes pretty much anything can do on shield unsafe. Uh, but right there, you know, doing a great job catching the uh, attempts to pressure him on the platform. And now, 95%? I <gasps> what? Again! That's the second time he's had like a... I think a he lost his jump, thought he could recover at that low, but nah. And, this is and he didn't have Waft or anything to say. Yeah, him. this is kind of that... Uh, that two stock situation might actually happen here. I feel like I just saw this. Deja Vu really hitting me right now. I, I feel like things are a little bit different right now. Like Slingshot very well could take this next stop. I think like Thunfins, right now Munel is looking for the waft. It's not even to close out the game, it's just to even up the stock count. And he is he is definitely hungry for it. And Slingshot, if he's able to play around that, which it looks like he is, just keeping him at the ledge, not risking too much. And uh, I see Munel, he has a walk on the ready, but it's just that this time since Slingshot, Slingshot has one low percentage and two, an extra stock on his name, and Munel is in a... Nope, it's like that. Once more, just not going to be able to come back from that. And at that point, it wouldn't even have almost been worth it to use walk because you're at such a high percentage. And the way that Slingshot was playing in that moment was just... It was just not almost not worth you know just take a yeah. game three and in this, bring it back in this recovery situation i wonder if he could have uh up beat from like up beat from right farther there. away and uh, just like, like shifted it yeah to the right. yeah because yeah. you do actually you see that wario has a decent amount of uh drifting to the right mm -hmm. and so maybe doing it earlier so that you're not like you would grab to the ledge quicker uh, as opposed to getting caught by that banana because diddy kong when he drops the banana it kind of goes uh, I don't know. We're not gonna have enough time to truly analyze that clip, but it uh, it kind of drops, you know, relatively close to the ledge. So maybe up being from a little bit further away. Obviously, there's kind of play to that, but it feels like Slingshot is pretty consistently just dropping the banana lightly, and you know, kind of, if it works, it works. Mm -hmm. Here we go again. PS2, same characters, and hopefully we're gonna see a difference in uh, in momentum in favor of Moon now this time, because both games have both been somewhat in favor of Slingshot for majority of the game. First game, of course, going to Moon now. So this is, of course, game three, last game for yeah. size. I, I will say that, them. yes, it's been, you know, slingshots for the most part in, you know, his control for the games, but you need, like, it's not just enough to have a little bit of control. Like, in that last game, you saw that there was a massive gap in between them, and that at that point, Slingshot can start really playing around Waft and not have to worry about it at the same time. Oh, Grace, the best of the bike right there, but of course, Diddy Kong will be able to come back with uh, his, little, his little fun little jetpacks. Mm, so finally, Munel with a uh, with a lead of his own, mm -hmm. completely earned, and he's looking for a kill possibly. And at 86, percent there isn't that much that Diddy Kong can threaten him with at the moment. All right, here we go. We have a oh, we have a situation where, where Slingshot is really efficient at keeping his opponent on the ledge, and just like that. Munel is in a very serious situation where he has to really be careful trying to come back and also coming back away from uh, away from Slingshot's ledge traffic options. Banana in Wario's hand now no longer in... Oh, is this still in his hand? No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, oh, that back here almost doing it, but just not quite yet enough. This is an edge guard situation with a banana in hand. I like that throws the banana just to free him up for the back air, keeping this going. Now it's... It's getting scary. It's getting scary. Oh, you just missed it. You just missed it. You just missed it. Uh, come tear down. Come yeah. tear down. <laughs> I'm sorry. My, my entire worldview was just shattered. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so right here we have Muno. Uh, suck down. Slingshot. There you just switch against a Wario just like that. Yeah. Oh my god. That was evil. Yeah, that backer. It's been really consistently landing from Muno. 
and this is the sort of yeah. Oh. It's it's looking rough for Moonel, but not to the point where with a well-timed wop. Like if he's able to keep things at this same differential, then he could still win it. Like even right now, landing a neutral air will put him with the lead. Yeah, if, he, if he's able to land a neutral air into what we saw in game one last stock, he will bring us back to even so quickly. It, you, it won't even like be funny. Not even even that would be just yeah, a straight. I would just walk out. That's crazy. I'm like, that's no way. Yeah. And oh, the oh, that was so that was smart. So smart. And oh, there's that banana in hand once more. But Moon, I'm not actually looking to use the banana I so think much. It was more of like a bait distraction. Tool. Yeah. Just so you can put your eyes away from the opponents for one second, and then Munel is more focused on how did, you. How did he find that roll? Oh, but at this point, that's, that's going to yep. do it. And now this is where things become a lot dicier. He's kind of really pressured to look for a waft right now, or at the very least, get, like, sizable damage in so that he can take this kill outright without, you know, suffering too much himself. But Diddy Kong with a lead is notoriously one of the hardest things to deal with in this game. Yeah, once Diddy has his, uh, has his advantage state, he is so much harder to deal with. That's because you're already down one stock, you have Waff active, but only for that one stock. And it, it, it's, it's an opportunity to choose, do you want to use it now, or take this, or be confident in taking this game right now and using Waff in the next stock. You know, that's, a, that's the kind of mental game that Moonel has to go for at the moment, and really, uh, and really just deal with. In the middle of all this, uh, this these projectiles, this bike, this banana in his face, and he's once again at the ledge, and thankfully comes back from it easily. Yeah, but look at this consistent mm. damage. Slingshot's not looking for any overextending on any kind of combo. Instead, he's just making the <laughs> making that percent redder and redder to the point where even if he does die, which it looks kind of likely he could kill, you know, with ease. Oh, just whipping the grab right there against the roll. He had the read. He just wasn't spaced out quite enough, and that might have been really detrimental. He also did the Z drop, uh, the Z drop of the banana earlier on it when uh, since I was trying to recover, and that also did just work. I feel like nothing is really working for Munel at the moment. Gain the banana in hand. You see him going for those backers that have been working so well for him the earlier parts of the set, but Slingshot has beautifully adapted, although we see adaptation on Munel's part as well as he's not getting caught by that banana anymore. So much pressure on his shield. He needs to take this stock immediately, and if he does, he has a way out. Oh my god, there's no way. There's no way. Coming back on the stage, great. Finally, oh. and right now, oh! Oh! This is, uh, he is, you know, is still absolutely at, with a death touch. Here we go, we might see something crazy. You know, Wario <laughs> has, has a condition right now. He has Walk, he has Rage. You are slowly getting more percentage on your side. Banana in hand. Oh, there's a. He's looking for it. He's, He's for waiting it. for it. If he gets it on that platform, it's over. Absolutely over for a slingshot. Oh, and once again with that banana, Slingshot has oh. to respect it. I don't know if this is going to kill. No, it's not. <gasps> oh, the right, out of it. Might be oh. crazy. No, there's no way. Dang. Oh. Dang. He, the thing is, he got the banana slip. He got the banana slip. I don't think he reacted to it, though. Oh, look at these finger motions. I'm not sure what exactly he's getting at. Yeah, look at this. So that mash out was absolutely incredible. He got the banana slip. He could have wafted. Right there, he could have wafted, taken the set. But he just was yeah. already preparing the down tilt. He got and greedy with the back air because, you know, did he just, uh, or something just like kind of crouch down? Did he's already a small character anyway? Right here, he whipped right over Did he shield, and that's how Slingshot was able to get that final back air from the platform. Yeah, wow. But we saw just at the end there how <laughs> close that was. That was also, I think, some suspect DI. I don't know if he would have lived. I he might have. There wasn't a lot of rage on Slingshot, and we didn't see a kill screen or anything. Let me see. It was just a lightning. I, I think he would have survived that. Possibly with, with good a, DI? With a good DI. Let's see if the... Oh, this is just the, this is yeah, the second yeah. stock right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was this one? Let me see. Oh, yeah. That yeah, was, was yep. just the town self. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, just the fact that Waft forces you to play around it. If... If Slingshot wasn't scared of the waft in that last stock, he would have been a lot more grounded fishing for those down tilts that could have won him the game. Uh, but instead, he had to be a lot more aerial-based, which Munel, for the most part, was actually prepared for. He really did. He kind of he kind of won that set if he just reacted to the fact he got the banana slip. He, he got Aww, the... Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> That's mad cute. Y'all mad cute.
but like, like you said, ha he had he had the slip. He just got a little bit greedy with the back air. So I mean, he is is was more more likely just like habit. No, you can do.